Hello everybody, Fallen Rain here on another video on Girls X Battle 2. So, let's talk about the dorm. The dorm is something I've introduced recently, um, well not recently, probably about a couple of months ago. Um, and really, really good feature, especially again for free-to-play players, because this is about gaining passive resources all right so the way how you access this from your main screen is on the top right hand corner here there's a icon called dorm and this is where you basically uh see your girls in their more kind of relaxed state you know not fighting or anything like that just chilling out in the dorm so this replaced the icon which was called date but date is actually now in the bottom part here of the screen as you can see right here yeah so the way how the door works is this you gain passive coins through the campaign which i'll show you here these coins here furniture coins you gain furniture coins passively through the campaign um they will present themselves so you don't need to worry about gaining them or buying them in any type of way um but there was something recently what was i looking at that gave me coins i think it was one of the events yeah so through the winning heart event you can also gain some furniture coins but don't worry too much to be honest too much it will just come in time all right but what's really good about building up your furniture and your stuff in the dorm is that the more stuff that you have in here the more that this little kind of green leaf on the top left screen here goes up now what you do is that when you click on this this is the comfort level of the girls in there as the comfort level goes up you're able to actually gain like i said passive resources as you can see here I'm about to collect 124k in gold, 16 gems, and 65 uh, crystal chisels. So, this is great, you know what I mean? All you have to do is literally just, you know, passively gain the furniture coins, go to the store, buy something from here, basically, long story short. So, let's say I might do a little spend. I just spent earlier, but... Um, just going to give an example of how this works so yeah let's let's buy one more lucky painting oh, actually wait is there something else i could buy oh, no, let's buy a poster yeah so what you do you just gotta click on it you press purchase that's going to be three furniture coins and it'll show you this item acquired now this part had me a bit confused because when i purchased something i was like hold on a minute well where do i go how do i you know, how do I actually pull it on? Um, I had to go through management, uh, the managing uh, section here. And it was a bit confusing at first because I didn't understand because it didn't pick up anything. And you press this, that clears your furniture. You press set and this actually just sets the layout. No, that's not what you do. I think they've got to make the layout a little bit better for this so it's not confusing. But what you need to actually press is storage box, okay? This little tab here, I had to spend a whole day looking for this tab, all right? So I'm clicking that a few times to show you that is where your actual items that you've purchased are. That's where everything is, all right? So let's say, for example, I wanted to take out that poster, right? What you do is that when you click on the storage box, you need to go to hang things that were hanging, so the hanging tab, and then the poster will be here. Now you can tell if you've already put the item in your dorm is if it says one out of one or two out of two etc etc now where this one says zero out of one that's how i know that means that it's not actually active in my dorm so what i do is click on that i press setting okay and when you look on the screen here you can see that now it's asking me okay where do i want to put this poster so for example i could put it Probably here in this little gap here in the meantime. Uh, well, let me, uh, there we go, I'll put it there. You see? So what you do is once you've actually selected your place, you press OK and then it will set it there. There's a few other settings on here. So you can rotate the photo, you can rotate it. Um, that's not a good example of rotating. I'll show you another example. Hold on. I'll just press there. 
if you see that icon there you see you can rotate it to go to the left or to the right for example yeah then you've also got retrieve which means it will take the item and put it back into your storage box and you've also got details about it as well so it just gives you a lot of description michael is still shining like a true angel so you know that it's a it's a, a poster of michael the angel uh, girl so that's pretty much how that works so all you've got to do is press save it asks you save your current layout you say yes and now that poster is there and priestess looks like she was just looking at it for a second <laughs> so yeah um so the way how the door works is that all of your girls that you choose can perform just little small actions like kind of sitting down sleeping sitting on the couch and stuff like that so it's a nice little way for you to just kind of you know see your girls in a different type of setting not just fighting all the time so you know it's nice it is nice um what else was i going to say about this so oh yeah so you can actually move your girls if you want to like drag them places you can do that as well so if i want end my to sleep right now i can just put her right there and she'll go to sleep so you can just move them around anywhere you want to if i want to move priestess from here and put her onto sit on the chair she can do that so yeah pretty simple stuff really just a nice little place to kind of see your girls differently and what else yes yeah, so you can choose the girls as well so so let's go through the icons at the bottom here now so for example rest which is this one here this is where you can choose the girl that you actually want to be in your dorm so let's say i took out psychic yeah and i want to put in capsule girl if i press save after selecting her you'll see now that capsule girl is here yeah oh yeah and you can <laughs> you can press on them and they make a little kind of an ouch kind of bopping uh, bump sound so yeah that's another little thing so let's say I want to take her back out and put Psychic back in. And it's as simple as that, really. So that's the rest thing. So that's just to choose the girls that you want in the dorm to rest. And you've got the date uh, icon. D dating is actually quite important. I've covered dating before and building up intimacy. Now, you can build a pretty strong foundation of extra bonuses when you do date. Date is for both free-to-play players and for the whales and stuff as well because it's passive now you gain what is called gifts which are all along here and you gain these gifts just passively as you play the game as long as you collect your resources from campaign you will get gifts and then you'll be able to open these gifts basically in this little section here you see here gift box so if i just press a hundred for example i've got tons of these these are all of the gifts that i just gained yeah so that's that all right that's how that works now as you build it up um, i've got this covered in another video so i won't explain this um totally because there's another video where i spoke very in detail about how the data uh, how about how date works and stuff so check out that video but long story short, you build them up to 100 intimacy um, and you're able to gain up to, I think it's yeah, 2.5, 2.5 in HP, uh, to, uh, percent wise, and 2.5 and in attack as well. As you marry them, you can then put that up to 120 intimacy where you can also get uh, 3% you while well, you pull it up from 2.5 to 3% in both the HP and attack category so it's really really good plus well the married stuff is you have to pay for the offering and stuff like that but you do get a free one at the beginning too actually saying that too you do get a free offering so that's pretty useful but when you actually uh, marry your girl you can also get a skin for that girl uh, I the recent one I've gotten was the priestess one and you're able to, you see that there, you see this bonus thing here, see 3% attack, 3% HP, but also, also, I'm going to show you here, because she's got an oath skin, she also gets 3% HP and 2% attack, that's on top 
of what I just showed you from the um, from the intimacy. The intimacy is a separate thing. So these two are doubled. All right. So it'll be six. It'll be in total it'll be six percent extra HP and five percent extra attack. So yeah. So yeah, really, really useful stuff, and that will definitely show within you know your overall scoring for your girls. Okay, so going back to excuse me, going back to the dorm. Right, so that's dating, yeah. And obviously, when you press the store, like I showed you before, this is where you can buy all your stuff, and you can manage anything that you do here. You can, like I said, you can press clear to just get rid of all your furniture if you want. And you can set templates of different layouts as well for your dorm in general. Okay. So that's pretty much it really, to be honest. Um, I don't think there's much else to really cover. If you just press that button, if you just want, don't want to see all the little icons on there. You just press it to bring it back, I think. Oh, oh, oh you got... Oh, that's weird. Okay. I don't know why you can't... After you press that, it doesn't seem like you can just come back normally which is a bit weird that is a bit odd but maybe that's something they're going to fix later on in the game because I can't, I can't bring that back so that's a little weird thing so <laughs> maybe not press that too much but if you ever need any information you can see it all along here as well and it actually shows you how much um, it, uh, resources it will give you as well so yeah the help buttons of course are always useful so that's pretty much it all right so um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hope it was informative like and subscribe as i always say that great stuff and i will see you in the next video